What's up, guys? Welcome to the episode 15 of the J14 Gamecast. I have myself here with, on my right, Sean Steinke, Jeff, the expert. <laughs> it's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I won't deny it. <laughs> and John. <laughs> I don't remember his name. <laughs> Just and this guy. This guy. I think he's been here before, but I don't... Yeah. He's... Anyway, so... <laughs> Welcome aboard. Uh, did we? We did do it. Oh, right. Yeah. Last week. So we kind of did like a half episode last week, I guess you could say. <laughs> a half episode where we didn't do a podcast and played games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like a, it was a couch co-op. It was Just a couch co-op. That had no news. It was a learning intended. experience. Yes. Yes. A learning coach mm-hmm. co-op. So anyway, we got some news here for a couple weeks worth. So we'll start with last week with uh, of August 19th. Uh, we had games come out. We had Trails Fusion, Empire of the Sky. For Trials Fusion. Trials. Oh, that's how I was like, ah, that doesn't sound But, good. I mean, there's trails in the game that you bike on. That's true. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Interchangeable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My spelling mistake. Everyone else's game. Did you spell it Trails? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was going to blame Brendan. Yeah. Damn it, Sean. <laughs> All me. This Ouch. is why I don't do You're this. just trying to sabotage <laughs> Brendan's hosting. Yep. <laughs> well, see you guys. <laughs> uh, so uh, Trials? Yep, yep, PS4, Xbox One, a zone, as it says here. Wasn't Trials out forever ago? Yeah, this is a uh, DLC. Oh, okay. All Emperor right. of the Sky. I forgot to put the little DLC thing oh. as well. <laughs> Just spell so it not only did you not spell it right, <laughs> you I didn't did get the new story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was obviously a little rushed, that's okay. Yeah, to be fair, you put that together very fast. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? We got The Last Tinker, City of Colors, for the PS4. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just went by Metacritic and what came up last that's week. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Don't worry, we're moving to the good stuff here. Uh, Jeff, a personal favorite of yours, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I hate that game. <laughs> no, yeah, it's good. If, uh, if you weren't aware, Jeff was attempting to boycott EA. Mm-hmm. And uh, it lasted for... Two days. Four days? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Little did we know, EA uh, publishes everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. But- uh, Even so this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> us by <Yeah>. stuff. <laughs> Money out of the background. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, we got Hotline Miami for PS4. So yep. that's, that was that. Which was, one? Um, the first one. <laughs> to <laughs> avoid the confusion of our last two. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right, it was already out for other consoles, but there's yeah. a second one coming. Yes, yeah. right. but this is a port to the PS4. Yeah. Right, yeah. gotcha. Uh, we got Counter Spy for PS4 as well, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which sounds like a game I played on Nintendo. I don't know why. Something Spy. It's a card game. Spy Hunter. Spy yes. Hunter. Oh my god. Do, 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 Remember the oh, one with man. the rock? Do, 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 do. That wasn't just Nintendo. Wasn't that on PS2 or was that a sequel? The movie? I played the. the I played it on it was PS2. Gonna be a movie. Yeah, I played oh, the Spy right. Hunter game. Yeah. Um, it was pretty fun. It was hard. It was really spending hard. more time on Spy no, Hunter. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> reminiscing. What are those classics? Should there have been a sequel? Did you ever play Headhunter? Yes. That was a <laughs> shitty game. I just remember a motorcycle. Yep. And a guy. <laughs> I think it was like... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I just remember the cover. Just a guy with sunglasses. <laughs> like a gun. <laughs> it's like the most generic cover ever. Actually, I don't remember it being a bad game, though. It was kind of fun. really weird. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it. Good time. I think it was Koei. Or Konami. Metal Gear. Yeah. <laughs> One of those guys. Uh, so the big release of last week, Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition for Xbox One and PS4. There's actually another big release, I think. Uh, um, Tales of Exilia 2? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that came yep, out. That was... It's also not in there. <laughs> oh, okay. But I think that you guys all bought that. So. Yeah. Sean bought Zillia. I bought Diablo. Sean bought nothing yet. I went right. to two different jo- places now. Wait, Sean, Sean bought, bought two games. <laughs> I, no, I haven't bought Zillia oh. yet. Because oh. you didn't play the first one yet. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's, makes sense. It's sitting there. Yeah, it's gonna just like crazy. Skyfall. Yep, it's like so many games. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. So yeah, Diablo. We actually that was the game we played last week. If you haven't watched it, go fucking watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, no audio. No, just, just pure down. gameplay, which is what yeah, we're all so after. Don't have to hear yeah, so. totally. no, if you ever want to know how to not play yeah. Diablo and fuck around with difficulty settings and get more, <laughs> then watch, watch ours. Game. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, you uh, can listen to this podcast and watch that at the same time. Just want to say I'm rolling on expert perfectly fine right now, so That's good. I wasn't the problem. 
Yeah. It's weird that it's on his own and he doesn't stream it, so I just... Wow. Shots that's fired. <laughs> I will say this about uh, Diablo, though. If you played Gauntlet Legends, the local couch co-op feels a lot like... Yeah. Yeah. Like that, which is good, because I was or, like... Um, did you play Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance? Oh, my God. Yeah, so, so fucking good. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah, those were... A lot uh, of Baldur's Gate fans didn't like it, but I liked it for what it was. Yeah. It was very different, because remember, I played it, but I think if you played it, like, in that setting with, you know, four people, yeah. it's yeah. definitely a lot more fun, so... Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so we're going to move on to this week here, uh, 26. Okay. Go ahead. I, was gonna, I thought you were done. Oh. Uh, so we got uh, the Metro Redux games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Do you want to host, Sean? Yeah, you just tell me to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Metro Redux? Metro. Yeah. Uh, Last Night Redux and the 2033 Redux for yeah. PS4, Xbox One, uh, and, and PC. PC. And if you own um, either Metro 2033 or Last Light on PC, you get a 50% discount on both the games. Oh, wow. From uh, through Steam. That's sweet. Yep. Really would rather play it on a console, though. I don't know. It just feels like a good console game to play. I yeah, it, like, like an atmospheric single player. Well, just considering the quality of, of like how yeah. it is, I can't see it being that much different on PC. It looks a lot better on PC. It does. Yeah. yeah. But, I, I mean, it it's, comes at a cost. That's why I'm getting it for console, because, like... <laughs> I don't know. It's the kind of game that where the visuals are actually very important to the atmosphere of the game. Yeah. It really dampens it when it looks like shit because a big part of it is kind of the scary, tense, and when everything's like pixelated as fuck. Yeah. It takes away from that. And like my computer is pretty powerful, but it's known for not being a well optimized game, which is yeah, exactly um, part of the reason they release these. So I'd rather you know I'll take a tiny graphical hit and play it. It's, it still looks great on PS4. Oh yeah, it's, the trailers look fucking unreal. Yeah. So, so. yep. Um, we got. Uh, the Walking Dead pinball for PS4. Woo! Which, if you could see, his screen is currently on. You can't. <laughs> if I get a mirror and, like, hold it like this so that the angle's just right. <laughs> just pull my TV over here. <laughs> Out of the Look, wall. guys, look! Um, oh, it's I play, yeah, I played about 90 seconds of the Walking Dead pinball table, so I'll give you my review. Um, pinball. It's cool. It's pinball, and uh, it's got the characters from The Walking Dead Season 1 on the table. So it lives up to the name, The Walking Dead. Yep, pinball. The Walking Dead, because it actually says The Walking Dead on the pinball cool, table. I was, and I was and unsure. I was there unsure is Walking Dead, like we said, Walking Dead characters there. Yep. And it's pinball, so it lives up to the title. Wow. Blow my There's mind. zombies on the board, and you can hit them with the pinball. If I remember, there were zombies in The Walking Dead, so that's very... Yeah, true. It's very true to the yeah. source material. Uh, I give it 8.5 out of 10. Whoa. Just swoosh. <laughs> 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 anyway... Um, we got uh, Infamous First Light DLC that yep. came out yesterday. It's a $15 standalone uh, title. Really, It's a prequel to Infamous Second Son. So oh, it's, it's a prequel? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it takes place two, two okay. years before the game. Uh, so it kind of tells the story of one of the characters from Second Son. Oh, okay. So, I understand now. Yeah, even though it's a prequel, um, and, you know, it, it does kind of... You can play it before without playing Second Son, and it, really? it's not a... <laughs> No, like, I mean, it's not a huge spoiler. Some people, when they hear prequel, they think they should watch it or play it before they play the other one, but that's not always how it works, because there's certain things that you're not meant to know when you're playing the main game. It's like, you can watch the Star Wars movies, and the prequels first, watch. but then when Darth Vader's, like, I'm your father, you're like, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, you could watch, like, episode four, five, and six, and just not watch one, two, three. I, I actually have a soft spot for three. I think three is, shouldn't be in the same. I have the high ground! <laughs> I like that scene. <laughs> the good you were my brother! You were my brother! You were the chosen one! My legs cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and he just leaves him there to burn <laughs> you. Such a you were my brother! <laughs> yeah. How did he not die by the extreme heat from the lava? He's a Jedi. He's got the, the midi chlorians like protect his skin. Yeah. Oh, his okay. midi chlorians are off the skin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's definitely not as good as the original trilogy. I do not put episode three in the same league as two and one, though. Oh God, no! So, just my opinion. J fourteen Jedi cast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, we got uh, an amazing, top notch EA game here. Madden NFL two thousand. Anyway. Uh, Ollie, Tony, Ollie, we got. <laughs> did you play Madden 14? Did you play Madden 13? Did you play Madden 12? Do you 10, live 11, in Canada? 9, we should have a flowchart. Do you live in Canada? Yes. Do you play Madden? No. <laughs> I actually used to play. Uh, I did. I used to play. Yeah, a while ago. I played Madden and then I played NFL 2K and then 
I After NFL 2K5, I, I couldn't play anything else. I played Madden. Yeah. Then I played Blitz. <laughs> yes. John. <laughs> it's like NHL. I do Blitz. want to pick up another Madden game. It's been a long time since I had a football game, but I, I keep waiting for the year for it to be, like, really good, and it never happens. <laughs> Because you got no competition yeah. for their football or hockey Maybe games, EA so. Canada can make a CFL game. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as how they're We're using the graphics from um, at no, Madden 94. No, no, just no. <laughs> it's top down. They're having a lot of trouble with NHL this year, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're spread thin enough already. Yeah. Yeah, well, they they only, you don't need... God, you know, you can just have, like, the mechanics one... mechanics are the same. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to do anything. They just need to reskin it and... Well, That's go. true. Well, if it's as terrible true. as everyone says, it'd be realistic to the CFL anyway. So. Oh, shots fired. And I'm not the one that pays for the, going to those games. Oh, I don't pay. I like CFL. <laughs> oh. So no, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I like it. Well, there you go. The skill level is not the same, but no. <laughs> I, I like it for what it is. It's a different style game. Yeah. Yes. It's a passing game. Yep. Uh, so we got uh, Ollie Ollie for PS4. Yep. But you were playing earlier as well. I was. And the 90 second review? Uh, it's like the PS Vita version, but it's on the PS4. Uh, it looks nice. Yeah. 1080p. Nice. 60 yeah. FPS. <laughs> um, Next Gen is here! <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're looking for a game to show off your brand new $400 PS4, Get this show pixel. people Ollie Ollie and they will they will not believe what The pixels seeing. that you could see on a Super Nintendo don't even match up to yeah. us. <laughs> it's like showing off Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. It's 2013. Check it, guys. <laughs> Yo. Um, one that I personally like here, the Golf Club for PS4. Yep. Um, You've been playing on PC. Yeah, I invested. Well, I, I put a, just a good amount of hours into it. Um, I was impressed how quickly that they've patched it uh, That's for good. it being in beta. Mm-hmm. So um, bodes well for support. Hopefully, I would have to see it on the PS4. I imagine it's very similar. I like how it's in beta, and it's like yeah, we have a PS4. Yeah, the um. Yeah, like I was saying, the Xbox One came out uh, last week, last week, yeah. and uh, there was uh, apparently a lot of problems with it. Hmm. In that, it looks ugly and runs like shit. <laughs> Which is funny because in the Steam version, it is obviously it was obviously meant to go towards a console. All the graphic UI is with you know oh. X and you oh. know, the, the Xbox I know buttons. That. Yeah. Right? So I mean, I was playing it with my Xbox controller. Oh, okay. And uh, so that's surprising to hear. I mean. Um, kind of sounds like it was an Xbox game. Especially well, yeah. although, did you have your controller plugged in when you started up the game? Yep. Because controller supported games dynamically change those things if you have a controller plugged in. Yeah. Oh, so if you so had it, plugged in, it probably wouldn't. Yeah, it just means yeah. they the PC version might have been made with controller support in mind, but it doesn't necessarily mean. I'm sure PC was still lead platform. That's also kind of surprising that it didn't that there were so many issues because this gen consoles are so easy to port now. Well, they're supposedly easy to develop for. I don't know. Like, oh, they're definitely yeah, easier guess, to port yeah. than before, but yeah. um, mm. the Xbox specifically, I know, is actually tougher to develop for than the 360 was oh. because of the ES yeah, RAM. when they initially tried to pump out games, they're having issues trying to get Call of Duty yeah. to 1080. Oh, yeah, I guess. It's just kind of a reversal yeah. of the PS3, right? Because the PS3 yeah. was very powerful, and so was the Xbox Even One. Even Diablo... It's just, I don't know if that was in our, in our news segment. That was uh, with the release of it this week. That was a mm-hmm. big deal. With the Xbox? Yeah. It that, was uh, not in the news. So thanks They for did me. a good job, though. Like the, um, They're both 1080p, the Xbox One and PS4 yeah. version of Diablo. And they're, the Xbox One drops frame rates a little bit, but it's still pretty good. It, I think the lowest it dropped was 52. Mm-hmm. And for the most time, it's at oh, 60. No. So, yeah. It was just a good article because I guess... Be- you know the people developing Diablo were like, no, it's at like nine hundred. Like that's what we get it up to. Mm-hmm. Like, it was not at ten eighty, and Microsoft was kind of they were getting frustrated too. Like no, like this game is going to get there, so they lended help to yeah. Diablo, the, the, oh, the Blizzard team, Blizzard team yeah. and to get it there. So I, mean, I didn't know that. It's like what Sony did with <laughs> Skyrim on PS three, where <laughs> Bethesda's like, we can't get it to work, and they're like, fuck it, we'll send in our own guys. <laughs> we're gonna make this work. And then did it work? Technically, yeah. They, I mean, they did. They did fix Technically it. Technically, to the point where we're just like, here, like, people. You if you don't start anything, they, they fixed inventory. it a year later. Like, I yeah. half the people probably traded it in. And Oblivion yeah. was just as bad. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Fallout Three was pretty bad on PS3 as well. Yep. So so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know. I can't speak for the PS4 version. I don't know if it's going to be any better than the X. I don't think it's the problem with the Xbox One power. I think yeah. they just probably aren't very familiar with consoles because this is a small dev team that probably hasn't made a console game before yeah, and yeah. they probably just didn't optimize it for them they probably just got it up and running and yeah with beta yeah and then it's already coming out on consoles well yeah but that supposed it 
they, they can't you can't release an early access game on console, so it has to be released. So we have to pass testing as well. Yeah, which is kind of surprising. Mm-hmm. Um, so hopefully it'll improve with patches or something like that. Yeah, it's a very bare bones golf game. It is not like mm-hmm. you know the comparison to uh, EA's sport or a golf game is very. They're very different. It's more like a simulator. It's very yeah. just. There's no. It reminds me kind of that bowling game that you used to play. Where yeah, it's like, uh, it's, you it's, know, it's just it is what it is. It's a very hardcore simulation. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. Yeah, you know, you don't level up your guy. You don't get new clothes or anything. It's yeah. just golf. Don't get new clothes. Nope. <laughs> Not my game. <laughs> it looks pretty nice though, from what I saw. Yeah, that's the thing. Graphically, it's actually quite nice. Yeah. I know, crazy putting time and effort into making a game look better. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, we got uh, DLC for Dark Souls 2 uh, Crown of the Old King Which I think is the second of DLC? Second of three Did you guys play the first DLC? No, oh, no. Yeah. What? We no, haven't no. Uh, actually been able to Maybe we'll do that this weekend Yeah Because uh, We're stream it? man. Maybe stream it Maybe yeah. uh, We should stream it Yeah Because you, you have be... to use Skype for that anyway Since yeah. it's on PS3 So we could probably beat the dragon for me what? We'll stream that yeah, PS3 doesn't have party chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> no cross party chat. No cross game party chat. <laughs> I'm excited about that. I'm excited for the DLC in general. I have no. I haven't even looked into it. Like I just, I, I was gonna play it because Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> just throw Dark Souls on it. You'll Dark Souls it. money. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Um. The third one I think is set for. The third set of DLC is set in uh, September. I think so. Like if you they're pushing these out quick. I was gonna say yeah, that's pretty good support. They already have one, and they already. I think set it was really it. like I don't know. I think that obviously developed it all at once. Yeah, just releasing it in three yeah. smaller segments instead of uh, like the one single. DLC it was just so funny Dark because Souls. before Dark Souls Two came out, the producer is adamant that there's not going to be DLC. Here's three DLC. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're uh, they've been kind of. Different with DLC in those games. They well, wanted they DLC for Demon Souls, never happened. Said it wasn't gonna happen for Dark Souls, and then ended it up happening. And it was mm-hmm. awesome. So, I was reading um, a forum about people's uh, their favorite DLC for games, and there was a lot saying the Dark Souls One DLC. It's so it was good. like their. It was yeah. It was it was really it was good. just like oh that and part then, with that dragon oh. like Arturius the yeah. boss or whatever yeah. like people that saying that scene just is the, just like yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, and the last thing for this week that came out yesterday that you and I both played the final episode of the se- second season of The Walking Dead. Really episode good. Five. I yes. thought it was the best episode of the season, probably. Definitely, yeah. it was definitely the most. Like I was sitting there, like, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think definitely the longest episode too. Pretty sure. Uh, close. it definitely it, it was roughly the same. Maybe it might have been a, a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, no, it was really good. Really good closer. Um, mm-hmm. They've obviously announced that there's going to be a third season. Yep. Um, and uh, no release date, but still going with it. So that's mm-hmm. exciting. What I like about the success and like how well they do each episode of Walking Dead is when The Wolf Among Us does their season two. <laughs> it's going to be just as good and better. So when you guys like, it's the best thing ever. I'm like. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> we were talking about it earlier, though. Just that uh, is is definitely the second season was a bit different than the first season, and I well, I said that I think it was partially because they were working on such another big title, The Wolf Among Us, and I, uh, different how. Just because I have like it I, was shorter for one thing. It was shorter. Much Not shorter. that it wasn't good. It was definitely yeah. very good, but just I think. Many people agree the first one just felt a little bit more involved because you were actually spending a little more time doing stuff, whereas well, season I think two is very much like bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it's a different story, though. Yeah, but they've moved the... Even The Wolf Among Us was the same. The Wolf Among Us is very similar to The Walking Dead season two oh, in just, terms it, of it, gameplay it, mechanics. Oh, um, yeah. The Walking Dead so season one, and I, I played Telltale's other their Back to the Future game. Um, but, like, yeah, Back to the Future even more so than The Walking Dead because they're an adventure game company. Yeah. And Back to the Future was very heavy on the puzzle solving. There was very little, um, you know, like those comprised the majority of the game. Whereas well, what they're doing is they're listening to the feedback, so they're changing on the fly. So it's not oh, I know. And people, a lot of people said in the Walking Dead season one that they the stuff they liked the most was just the dialogue. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, I, I think season three again will will modify but, to 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 accommodate that and be a little bit different. Like you were saying though, like I don't, I can deal do without like the. 
you know, I, I don't mind if they get rid of some of like the, you know, the battery and the radio and the, you <laughs> yeah. know, you're trying to like piece together the stuff. But I do like where you can just kind of walk around and go, you know, talk to different people and just observe the environment and kind of soak it all in. It, it feels, I like that they paced it really well, but it just feels like you're kind of rushing along a lot and you don't really. Yeah, I think like, the, the big theme in season two is you feel more attached to the main character from mm-hmm. in time. Oh, for sure. Yeah. What? <laughs> and uh, whereas in the first one, like. You're obviously still connected to the main character, but the supporting cast is, is really, like, really important. Yeah, in yeah. season two, it's like... But maybe that might be part of the design, where it's just supposed to be like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so. Clementine, and, like, I just... I, I fuck you all. That's how <laughs> I felt about like it, honestly. It's just yeah. like... Oh, just some of you people, like, fuck. Well, that's just, what I mean. Like, it's a different story. Like, the first season is, like, you are shaping this mm-hmm. person. It's also the story is at the very beginning of like the entire arc of The Walking Dead. Yeah. It's yeah. like the show. Right. And, you know, now the show is in season five. And it's, it's so different. different. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's uh, they just a continuation of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, still really, still really solid. Yep. That's good. Um, so that's it for releases for the last two weeks. Sweet. Um, are we good? Oh, good yeah. time? Oh, okay. We have time. Uh, what have we been playing? Um, oh, I played The Walking Dead yesterday, <laughs> and I I started Mass Effect. Out of what? Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, this has been five years. <laughs> no, he started it before, remember? No, he didn't. I did. No, I, no he I did. He got to the part did. where he became a Spectre. He did oh. like, the first three hours. Okay, yeah. so he played the first three hours. Yeah. But that Walking. game was mine, and he borrowed <laughs> it for like you. Ever. <laughs> and I went to Uncharted for a month. <laughs> Didn't even put the disc in the PS3. But this is big. This is a big step. This is. I, Mass yes. Effect is like one of the greatest. I own all three games. It runs good on PC. Well, I shouldn't say it runs good on my PC because <laughs> nothing ever runs good on my PC. <laughs> it takes hours to fuck it anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it does work, so I will. I am going to try. Just get through the first one. There's problems with it. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to spend a couple hours to get into it. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I think I will set sail. I think I will finish the first and be like, I need to play the second one now. The second one you'll and then be I'll be like, in, like, and you'll be like, oh, yeah. Oh if you like Dragon. Dragon Age, there's no... Yeah. yeah, it's it's Bioware. There's no way you won't like Mass Effect. Yeah. Even with all the problems with Dragon Age 2, I still like the story. Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone really had much of a problem with the story. It was the yeah. game itself that they had problems yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, that's why I go to Bioware, because their stories are always so good. Yep. So. Um, I think that's it, really. Yep. Uh, I can't think of... Yeah. Cool. What about you, Sean? Uh, I know what you've been playing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know all, all you've been playing. Okay, we'll put, we'll put this into perspective. When I first started playing this game, it took me a couple months to get up to the level that I am now that I've done in two weeks. Which is Final Fantasy XIV. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that game. It's, it's an M- so damn good. It's, an MMO. It, it's so good. It's and so good. I mean, I've played MMOs before. But this is like on a different level. It's like I'm sitting there. It's like I could fish for six hours and be perfectly fine with it. I actually did some of the fishing. Yeah, it's it's fun. so fun. <laughs> and you get your own little fishing quests. Yeah, you gotta get catch this fish. You gotta use this bait to catch this type of fish and this type. And then you of get water. like oh. special fish class specific clothing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm like I've been throwing money at it for so long that it's like. <laughs> I have to start playing it to like make up because I've yeah. been a subscriber since when it came out. Yeah, and I just like I, I played it for like a couple months. I was like, yeah, it's cool. Stop playing it. Yeah, and now it's like I'm playing it more than I have been. It's ever. one of those games too. The further you get, the better it gets. Yeah. So that's my problem with MMOs is I just I just find it tough to commit that much time to a single game, right? Like yeah. I I put twenty thirty hours into a game. I'm like I'm good on to the next game. And yeah. But MMOs you need to put more than twenty or thirty hours into. Yeah. So. Yep. I've never you gotten You put in like a hundred hours and it's like, oh, I put a tiny dent. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, you can get... <laughs> I'm familiar with this game the main now. story. Mm-hmm. Um, if you just worked on like one class and you just hammered out that class to max it out, yeah. you could do the main story and be done. Yeah. But they just... But that's not... You're not you're getting not the most out of the that, game. Yeah. yeah. So... There's like events that happen. And it's like, oh my God. It's so good. So I'm playing that. Sweet. And then... Um, a while ago, I won a copy of Dragon Ball Z for the Vita. Battle of Z. Battle of the Gods. I see you playing that from time to time. Yeah, it's like when I play to go to bed. Like your guilty pleasure? Yeah, it's like I have one game 
from like my entire childhood. I was a huge fan um, of that show. Still am, kind of. Um, <laughs> and Everyone it's like it. I've maxed out all the characters' levels. I've been this close to buying the DLC characters, which were like three bucks each. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much what I've been playing. Um, I want to. Oh, I'll talk about what I will be playing Ooh. later on. Me either. Jeff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, what have I been playing? Um, everything. Everything. <laughs> so, let's go backwards from most recent, which is yesterday. Um, I beat First Light and Walking Dead Season 2. The wa- Telltale, A Telltale game series, The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5. Oh my god. No Way Back? Yes. Yes. I like how like the e- Episode 5s are like... There's still one back in like all their series. <laughs> yeah. Usually, how it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, we discussed that. That was really good. First light. Uh, main story took me about three hours. Really, really well done. Um, Fetch is an awesome. Getting some weird feedback on this. That's okay. Might be the car outside. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It yeah. really picks that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, Infamous was really good. Uh, Fetch is awesome. There's a cool combat arena. Thing in there, it's integrated into the main story, but you can go back in and do it after. Oh, nice! Uh, kind of like the challenges from Arkham games. If you did oh, those, oh, really? Similar to that, yeah. Nice. So you can get high scores and stuff like that. Um, I haven't played around with it too much, but uh, I'm gonna give the platinum a go because I got the platinum for Second Son. So we'll see. If it's too hard to get the high scores, I'm not gonna force myself. But yeah. if, if it's pretty easy, I'll do it. Um, what do you think of the game so far? Sucks. It's probably the worst game he's ever played. <laughs> No man, yeah, he got the platinum. What's like a What's skinny platinum? The game mechanics and it's just more infamous. I don't know. I loved Second Son and just yeah. The, I mean, the neon powers for First Light are definitely better than I think the neon powers in Second Son, which I still liked. But oh, definitely. As you expect, they're scaled up a bit. Um, I haven't unlocked all the upgrades, so I can only imagine they'll get even better Spoiler. as I get stronger. Your neon power? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I saw the trailer. I saw the trailer. <laughs> okay. I already knew. Also, the game is like six months old now, so if you haven't played Second Son and you don't want to hear spoilers, then deal with it and don't watch this podcast. But please watch the podcast. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't say any major spoilers. Um, so I played that really good. Give it a 9 out of 10. Wow. Um, what else did I play? Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, Call of Plants. Call of Plants. Yeah. Advanced gardening. Um, I... Do I hear water? It's yeah, raining. It's rain. <laughs> it is <laughs> raining outside. I just can't believe how loud it is. <laughs> you have the <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, Plants vs. Zombies. I, I heard about this because it launched on Xbox One, I think, quite a while ago. Yeah, it um, was an exclusive. Yeah, and I, I just wrote it off. Like, the mobile game always looked kind of cool to me, but I just wasn't really that into it. Yeah. Um, and then I saw a video of this on the weekend, and I was like, this looks awesome. I need it. There's some really and cool I had Easter a, eggs in there as well. Oh, yeah? yeah? I'll have to check them out. So I had a PSN credit, uh, long story, but... Um, so I bought this and downloaded it, and yeah, it's good. It's good, giving me like a Team Fortress vibe. Like oh, it's, nice. very, it's called class-based. You know, you got your engineer, mm-hmm. um, your your scientist guy or whatever and all that, so... So what kind of game is this? Is this single player? Third person... No, it's multiplayer only. I know, right? Shocking. Ladies and gentlemen. Mass Effect, he's playing... He's playing multiplayer. Brandon was early to the podcast. I was was late. late. My god, this is huge. (laughs) (laughs) World's falling apart. John was on time as usual. (laughs) Good old reliable John. He's my constant. (laughs) Yeah. Lost reference. I don't get it. (laughs) Spoiler. Spoilers. Someone gets lost. Only the greatest episode of Lost ever. Are Are you dying, John? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, I'll move along quickly here. Uh, so yeah, I think that's pretty much that. Pretty much covers it. Nothing else important. Yeah. Diablo. Oh, and Diablo. <laughs> Holy like, shit! How do I feel about that? You're like level seventy in Diablo. <laughs> forty six. Come on. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> in like three days. Yeah, forty six on Act Three. Uh, I love it. Lots of loot. Lots of awesome weapons. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Biggie small song. I don't know what to do with that. I'm just gonna keep going. So yeah, Diablo Three is really good. John. What have you been playing, dog? So, so. How's it going? Good. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I've been playing... I just finished uh, The Last of Us on Grounded. So oh, yeah. that's all good. Let's give a moment. Uh, 
<laughs> Someone's got a big set of balls. How, how hard was it? It was okay. It wasn't too bad. There was like <laughs> some segments that I had to redo over and over again, especially the last scene mm-hmm. in the hospital. But once oh, I got God. the pattern down or knew what to do, it was, it was a cakewalk. Yeah. I think I want to do it again. Uh, maybe I'll hold off. Did but, you do the? Um, did you stealth most of it? Uh, what I could do. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, Godzilla. So I played a bit of that. Zilla too. Yeah. It's okay. It's good. Um, pretty much the same game. Just extended. They made some minor improvements. Yeah. Uh, pacing's uh, going pretty quickly. I mean. I don't know. I, th- I believe there's about sixteen or uh, twelve to fourteen chapters, and I'm like chapter six and mm-hmm. eight hours in. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know uh, how you felt about Zillia One. It, for me, it felt like it took a while to get going. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So this one is that is it better in that regard? Or? Uh, well, I'm just kind of I because most of the environments are the same, so I'm not really exploring it as much. So oh, okay. I'm just uh, getting to the just doing the main quest as much. Mm-hmm. And it's it's fairly easy in terms of uh, letting you know. Oh, there's a side quest here. They let you know on your map. It's yeah, because in the first one, there was like some side quests that I never really knew where to go back to or what. Yeah. Uh, did you do the uh, not the feathers one? There's the three little girls. Yeah, I failed that one too. <laughs> I was like, because I they wanted pieces? this stuff, and I was like, where the fuck do I get this? And I'd randomly look at my inventory later, and I have it, and I'd go back to them, and then at one point, I just. I just failed it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have it, so I failed yeah. it. So I got a couple. I could of never them, but... find the peaches, and I was yeah. exploring <laughs> that. Field. I know. I was like, "Where the fuck do I get peaches?" I couldn't find them either. Yeah, whatever. Goddamn peaches. Yeah, yeah hopefully. I... Well, there's this new mode. It's called uh, they implement cats, where they you deploy them and they go searching items in certain fields. You deploy cats. That's what I was yeah. just. About. <laughs> well, yeah, like cats. I hear that? Yeah, you find cats. There's about 100 cats you have to find in the game. But you can also deploy, deploy them, them to find. You are no! you are seriously no! selling yeah, me on this basically. game right now. There's <laughs> is, a mission. Is the crazy cat lady deploy cats? Uh, no, so. can I play as a cat? Uh, your sidekick is a cat. There oh actually is God. a computer game coming out. Is it a cat? Simulator? It's like yeah. It's what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> You're a cat. It's, me. it's like a first-person cat game, and you're just a cat. You just have two paws. And you're just like fucking shit up. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, I've seen that. <laughs> oh <laughs> like the bear God. simulator. <laughs> really? You're just like no. It reminds me of how like yeah bears just walk around with two. Yeah, bear simulator. I forgot about that you one. You can be in bipedal mode or yeah, <laughs> you can move to bipedal bear and like <laughs> so good. <laughs> that would actually be so funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. It has a pun on the name cat. It's like it's called Catastrophe or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I hilarious. think that's what it is. Yeah, oh, I saw awesome. videos of it. It's so bad. <laughs> it looks terrible. I'll have to look it up. It's a hilarious concept. Yeah. So nice. Zillia two. Good. Zillia two playing that, and then first light came out. So really digging it. They made some minor improvements than what they had in the original. Yeah, I like how um, I don't know if you noticed, but fetch phases through stuff now. Yeah, I was going to gonna bring that up. It's like when you're going up uh, a building with balconies on each row, oh. you just go through it instead of stopping dead and dropping her. Well, I don't think Delson would, but he would kind of like go around each one, and it just took longer. Yeah, I think that's or, or, or some, something like that. Yeah, yeah. he'd go up. Oh, well, and there's even even bigger objects when there's like um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like there's a, it would be like a little roof over uh, on the side of the building. Oh, okay. You just face through that. Yeah, you know, oh, like an face. overhang or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something. I don't know what you call that, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, they made those slighter, slight improvements. Um, I like the side content a bit better too. It's cool they got like races. Um, oh, exactly. It's fun. Got, yeah, it's, it feels a bit more varied, so it's really good. Yeah, instead of shards, they have these. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, lumens? lumens. Yeah, you they're just they're more interesting too because some to get some of them you have to figure out which roof to. Yeah, launch exactly. Off. How to jump or yeah, to boost and jump. Yeah, um, and it's, I've, what I found in Second Son to be annoying was to find the thing and then uh, press down to. Oh, to, oh, to s- absorb it instead of just pass through it. So yeah. yeah. I really like that. It's a nice little touch. Mm-hmm. As well as going through... Or the biggest thing I, I wanted from this was to feel fast. Because if you're neon or yeah. light power, you should be going faster than everything else. Yeah, because the, uh, the speed of light, light, some would say. Yeah. Spoiler upcoming. I am going to play Minor this spoiler. Game, so. Okay. okay. The, uh, the video power I felt was faster than Neon for Traversal, especially when you hit the satellite links. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't... Um, yeah, so that... Didn't make sense. Yeah, I, yeah like... I thought Neon would be the fastest. So I agree. It, 
Yeah, you can. You're good now. Okay. So. so uh, <laughs> good, good. So and they introduce these things like I guess you could kind of think of them as uh, boost points yeah. around scattered throughout the uh, world to make your navigation really Across easier. So mm-hmm. by hitting these checkpoints, when I was going through them, I'm like, man, this is a really good, <laughs> better Sonic game. <laughs> Yeah. So. Yeah. What's up? What's up, buddy? Well, uh, so that's what John's been playing. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. So, uh, first bit of news we got here. Uh, the standalone Xbox One Connect is coming out October 7th for 150 American dollars. That's what the original Connect cost, right? 150 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. You still save money. If, uh, I think the Connect bundle will still be available if you want it. Yeah. For um, fifty bucks. Four ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See. <coughs> and, but it comes bundled with the game, yep. Dance Central Spotlight. The, yeah. The I don't know what's that I would be buying a Connect for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, we got some DLC for uh, Mario Kart Eight. Which was announced a couple days ago. I saw that leaked. Was it announced now? It was announced. Okay. Yeah, it initially the, was the, a leak. That's right. Yeah. The Link DLC? Yeah. There's more. So, first pack is going to have three new characters. Uh, Tanuki Mario, Cat Peach, and Link. as three characters. So, that's this, pretty cool. Let me check your math on that. In my head. Because I don't have a calculator. Three names. One plus one. Should, should we analyze it in the computer? Yeah, <laughs> let's go to the computer. Calculator dot. Yeah, you're right. Three. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad. Good. Coming back. Uh, we got four new vehicles. Uh, it looks like one of them is the F Zero cars, which is awesome. You should read a little more. Duh. And eight courses. But that's anyway. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. And that's only. This is only the first DLC. This is the first DLC. So there's two. Um, that's a. Is this out? When is this out? This October is October 7th, I said. No, that's, no, that's, that's the Connect. Connect. That's the Connect. Um, the first Unless they're launching the same day to compete oh, against the Connect. I think it's November, it said. Yeah. And then the next one will be... May. Yeah. Oh, okay. 2015. Yeah. So, um, probably not going to be playing Mario Kart in November with all the other games. Challenge accepted. Okay. But you should see hear the price. I didn't put it on there. Um, it's eleven ninety nine for both. Which is good considering the amount of content you get. Yeah, yeah eight tracks and a bunch of cars. So this is the first Mario Kart DLC, right? Yeah, and yeah. the DLC is actually pretty cool. Play Link in Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. What's awesome is just that, like, it's now expanding outside of the Mario Kart universe. Yeah, which is cool that the, as DLC mm-hmm. is that like yeah. the game there's, itself. is... There's the Mercedes Benz. Yeah, right? those came out. Which too. looks so out of place. And <laughs> they, there's three cars that come out. I think that's already out now. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so, it's free DLC. Cool. Uh, new vehicles like the Blue Falcon from F Zero. Um, yeah. Uh, Oh, it's the second pack. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the second pack is going to contain uh, characters Villager, Isabel, both from Animal Crossing, mm-hmm. um, Dry Bowser? Dry Bone. It's like Dry Bones, but oh, Bowser. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, and plus four more vehicles and eight new courses. So that's going to be a total of 16 new tracks. So that's, that's crazy. That's like so. half the, the game almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So each pack is <laughs> available for seven ninety nine, I think, separately, and then together for eleven ninety nine. Yeah. So, sweet. And I'm going to read this as it is because this is exactly what happened. EA shits the bed with NHL 15 for current gen consoles. So Love we, that tra- title. we tried to talk about this last uh, podcast, um, and basically what was happening for the last two weeks, you know, more like month. Yeah, the <laughs> like, past month. Yeah, last two um, years. <laughs> yeah, it's even more <laughs> accurate. But the uh, there is rumors that the PS4 and Xbox One versions of NHL 15 were lacking major content. Namely, uh, the Ultimate Hockey League, um, Online Versus, and the popular EA at HSL, EA Hockey Sports A-H-L. League, yeah. <clears throat> which is what we played and we and were hoping most people play. uh, yeah. to do for this podcast. And yeah, mm-hmm. we, uh, we spent a lot of time doing that before this started. And yes, it's just a very popular mode. It's very popular with... Um, yeah. Uh, professional gaming. Uh, the vo- yeah, there's YouTube tournaments and stuff. Tournaments. Whatever, yeah. there's, like, there's sites dedicated to like spec. Yeah, like guys seasons and out and everything. Yeah, yeah it's just, it was a really big thing since yeah. it's been come out, right? So that was so for a month. EA had gave no word of whether this was actually true or not. I mean, it was confirmed to be in the Xbox 360 and PS3. 
Yep. No word for uh, the next gen versions. So literally, what last week? Yep. Yeah, yeah. They, After basically, people just constantly bombarded them with <laughs> anger and messages. They they officially announced that yep, it's not in the game, mm-hmm. and uh, they're planning so online six versus six is going to be patched in, which means you will be able to play as an entire NHL team online. But at first, you won't be able to play with your friends. Right. Yes. And then eventually they'll have another patch where you can do the online team play with friends. That is ridiculously stupid. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> and, and of course they announced that EA uh, SHL will not be in the game until next year. So well, NHL they didn't even. I don't they even think they even they said, said it will be next year. in future mm-hmm. iterations. One can only hope that they're planning it to be in the next year. I hope to God because uh, they said they have big plans. It's clear that you know. The, there was some sort of development issue. Mm-hmm. The question that uh, they never answered was why they had a whole year to do this. Because they specifically said, we're not releasing NHL 14 on next gen because we're going to take our time and, and we're going to make like a really good yeah. next gen version. I think the problem was they still made a last gen version. Mm-hmm. Take the team that was working on that, put more manpower behind the next and current gen version. Well, I, I see what, what they're doing. You have 80 million PS3s. It's Eighty so million. Th- I know, but I'm just I I'm just telling you why they're yeah. doing it. You have 160 million last gen consoles, and you've got 10 million PS4s and five million Xbox Ones. So, and the the sports game community is more casual, yeah. In generally speaking, than the people like us. This is your fault, listeners. <laughs> don't buy it. Not not that that's a knock, but they're just they're you know they're playing generally the they're yeah. slower to upgrade to the the hot new console. And a lot no, of them will be happy as long as they can keep playing these games on the old ones. So I get why they focus on that, but it sucks when they said that they're putting effort into the next-gen one. I know. It's just bleh. So are we getting the current-gen one? No. No. Definitely uh, no. I feel like if I can find it used at Christmas for like 20 bucks, yeah. maybe. I don't know. Which, if, think uh, about it. there might be a few of those. So. Yeah. So don't buy it until we tell you. <laughs> and if you do, let us know so we can buy your used copy. Yes. It sucks because I really miss having a hockey game. So, to play. Like, like, yeah, it was a fun thing for us to do to yeah. play as our, our club and be mm-hmm. terrible and lose a triple. Yeah, because the online team play when they implement it, you still can't use your Via Pro. Yeah, exactly. It's just it's, you it's, pick it's a team easy. and play as their. It totally eliminates the whole fun. Of, yeah, as shitty as our players were, it was fun having your It own was character. like having like an MMO hockey game. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You can, like, go explore the dressing room. <laughs> Side quests. Maybe. Maybe NHL 6. Brendan, the toilet's clogged. <laughs> oh, huh. I saw a funny post about that when uh, because EA actually did a and a with uh, Rammer yeah. uh, to the community. And one of the questions that was not answered was, so if, I'm gonna, if I should play Via Pro, you know, what should I do with my celebrity life? Should I date, like, two or three women or, like... <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, yeah. no seriousness whatsoever. No. Um, so yeah, not only the SHL, um, you can no longer even play two people locally online. So whereas before, if you had a friend over at your house, you could, even though they still have the one versus one online play, you, still you used play. to be able to have a second player hop in with you and play someone online. Yeah, um, you can't one, do that anymore. V1 control six members. Um, pretty much it's, as yeah. as it, gets. it looks oh, like the graphically, it looks pretty good, but um, it's. I don't know. Not everyone will pick up on it. I'm pretty sure it's not 1080p even. Well, the funny thing was, we played the demo before. Yeah. And when I came in, when you guys were playing, I asked you, mm-hmm. what's it like? It's, like? it's the exact same. Yeah. The cutscenes look cut. better. The <laughs> character models are better. Yes. The animations are the exact same. The gameplay feels pretty much the exact same. The puck physics are definitely a little bit different. That's but, my issue. Yeah. It's like you had two years. I don't care if it's not a lot of install base. Mm-hmm. It really just feels like, well, it looks a bit better, but we've taken this back to NHL 2006. Yeah, it like. feels to me like they made the previous gen versions. <clears throat> they quickly did what they could, you know, made the players look a little bit better, um, and then just said, shit, we ran out of time for the rest of this stuff, slapped it together, and that, yeah. that's what it feels like to me. But. Yeah, it just. I don't know. Grinding. Inexcusable. It's, I think we can all And I don't want to put it all on the development team, because there might be, maybe they just don't have enough people to do this, and maybe that's not their fault. Maybe that's. EA's problem for understaffing that studio. I have no idea. Yeah, maybe they worked their asses off to get these out. I don't want to. No, yeah, it's, but it's. I mean, you know, it's someone in EA is to blame. Yeah, and I mean, no uh, <clears throat> what's good is the the community has made it well known yeah. that they are not happy with this with this so, version of this game. Yeah. So. hopefully we'll get the version we deserve <laughs> next <NHL> year. Fifteen point five. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, moving on. 
Uh, Nintendo, Miyamoto opens up about where he wants uh, his games to hit in the future. Yeah. Um, he is not intentionally developing games for passive gamers. He is really he wants his games to be for the Did hardcore crowd. Pathetic? <laughs> no, he said he didn't want people. There was another quote in the article where okay. it was like, "I don't want like I bought the game, <laughs> entertain me." He doesn't want that type of person. He wants someone to go in and play the game fully. And yeah, he doesn't want you to be like, "What can the game do you know, for me?" Like, yeah, go in and like you know, be like you should be invested in the game yourself and want to take yeah. the time. To, yeah, which yeah. I'm I'm very interested. I put it in there for a reason. Um, it's a mini talking point. Nintendo's future. Kind of, like pretty soon it might be kind of up in the air. Maybe in the next couple of years. <clears throat> it's just, you know, you need it, you know, the other uh Sony and Microsoft are making games like The Last of Us yeah. or you know, we'll say Gears of War or whatever, like just engaging games, stories yeah. that you play through and you're like, Wow, like you know, I was engaged. Yeah. From what Nintendo Nintendo's been about. always been very gameplay focused though. <clears throat> yeah, more, yeah so like then. having fun and stuff. But it's, it's like just... one of their biggest names is like I want that game. And you just look at the platform that he's made, building for, and there's mm-hmm. nothing really there for that. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we'll talk about that. I guess at the at the yeah, a later point. Mm-hmm. Yes, we'll um, in that. Some bad news in the gaming community. Uh, there was a big uh, DDoS attacks the last uh, week and a bit against a multitude of, of services. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blizzard uh, recently Twitch TV, the PSN, Xbox Live. Uh, a group of, of hackers have decided to. Be a dick. Yeah, basically, mm-hmm. <clears throat> just target these these uh, online services and take them down. So even there was they even uh, what are they called Lizard Squad? Yeah, um, they had they that was a false, but there was a, uh, an airplane threat for a bomb that redirected uh, yeah. some Sony employees' uh, flight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So not a very good for the gaming community, no. and uh, <clears throat> just surprising at how persistent they're being. And how I don't know. Yeah, I like, myself, it doesn't do anything. Like what I don't get. You know, they're just up to stir shit up. Like, it's not going to... be. And if anyone is watching this, and to be clear, this is not a hack. This is not, like, yeah. the PSA. Yeah, they didn't gain access to the network. This they is just simply taking it. down a service for mm-hmm. yeah. X amount of hours. I yeah. Mean, All day, almost. Yeah, it was a substantial amount of time, especially for Blizzard, like you were saying. Mm-hmm. It's been down. Yeah, it was hard to measure because, um, well, PSN was up for the most part for PS3 and Vita. It seemed the PS4 service yeah. that were affected yeah. the most, but... It differed by region. Like, some people were able to get on, some people weren't. So, so yeah, it's shitty. Um, and on the topic of that stuff, there was also, I don't know if this is in the news, um, a personal attack on Phil Fish. No, I forgot to put that in. Yeah, the um, right. so Phil Fish is the developer of Fez. Mm. Um, he's well known for being an asshole. He's very, uh, you know, I don't know him personally, but in general, he, he comes across as kind of a douche. Like, he's very... Okay. <laughs> he's he's pretty full of himself, but I mean he he made a really good game. Yeah, like Fez is a fantastic game. Um, but there was a he blew up last year on Twitter and basically said he was quitting the industry. Fez two was canceled, um, and he kind of went quiet after that. And then recently he started tweeting again a bit. Um, he was talking about Fez two, I think actually the other week, and just doing some some stuff with his company Polytron. And someone hacked him and posted like gigabytes worth of his own personal information. They hacked wow. him and his company. On his website, his bank account numbers they posted, uh, like his social security information, his personal information, emails in from his inbox, um, like personal life, family and stuff like that. Holy. Uh, like a major personal attack on him. Uh, so he, he's understandably, he's very upset again. So he, now he says he's selling his company and, you know, he's kind of a dick, but I don't think anyone really deserves to have that. No, that's just... That kind of stuff happen to them. That's pretty far. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. <clears throat> so... All right. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> all right, bring so, us up with some news, Brendan. All right, some uh, some more light news. Pokemon tournament. Yes. Pokemon tournament. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be in J- Japanese arcades. Oh, that's um, right. So this is going to be a, a literally a Pokemon brawl like bra- fighter. Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> the trailer is like everything that Pokemon Stadium should have been is this game. So if I don't really care about Pokemon and I don't really like fighting games... Then this is not for you. Okay, just check. But this is just Stick because... to single player. Some fighting games have a single player mode. Story mode. Single fighting mode. Where you mm-hmm. just fight, you shadow box. 
<laughs> Sometimes do it in your backyard. Yeah. <laughs> Dempsey. No, it was, it was just really interesting. Um, and it's being co developed by the guys who make Tekken, I think. And now oh. Bandai. Harada. Wow. Harada. Yeah. Okay, so it might be good. It might be very good. Yeah, cool. So. <laughs> uh, the next article here uh, Dragon Age multiplayer. Sean is very excited. I'm very excited about for this. Multiplayer. This sold me on the game. <laughs> uh, it was like the game looks like shit before and then they said this I'm like I'm in all in this really is the there, there's universe. a quote from an avid fan uh, you want to read this? no don't read that <laughs> <laughs> very excited are yes. you going to buy this game Jeff? yeah <laughs> god damn it burger <laughs> do you want to explain the multiplayer Brendan? Uh, I there? actually don't have a good understanding of it it's okay so I didn't put it in there I made a joke about mm-hmm being funny um it, so it is not main story missions okay it's like a separate yeah thing there right, there's okay. it ties okay. into the main story yeah. somehow right okay but so it's not like, simply like i and i figured that'd be the case because it wouldn't make sense for you to have a second character mm-hmm. yeah so but it's uh, randomly generated levels um and it's a, something i saw described it kind of like diablo <laughs> No, like it's it's randomly generated levels that you basically fight your way through. Yeah. Um, there's like groups of enemies, and then you have a couple bosses that you fight, and it's just about getting gear. Yeah, is that, give me the loot. Yeah, give me the loot. Give me the loot. Big smalls again. Sorry. I it's okay. I don't. Again. I don't get that That's reference. Again. I didn't get it the first time. Me neither. Notorious B.I.G. I, I know who Biggie is. Yeah. I just don't. I don't know his music. Yeah. It didn't speak to me. It's my my uh, you know upper middle class. <laughs> Suburban oh, childhood. Uh oh, he sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, the Mass Effect multiplayer was really good. It was really good. Yeah. So I'm excited to so see. It. Hope. Yeah, <laughs> and if it's, I don't know if it's uh, Bioware Edmonton that's doing this multiplayer, but they did the Mass Effect multiplayer, mm. and but they are currently working on another game. So it might not. Be. And it's just good. This game sounds like it is going to be absolutely packed with content. Oh. Like I heard, oh. like upwards of two hundred hours. Like just yeah, I really think it. they heard people's concerns about Dragon Age Two, and we're like, we're going to fucking show them. Yeah, that we and, can make a great and, game. And I'm yeah, so excited. And, just, and just finish it off on a good note, and just mm-hmm. leave it. Yeah, it's see gonna shakes. Be, it's going to be. Bad. I see them. <laughs> Dragon Age shakes. Yeah. Uh, so here's a good one. Uh, Minecraft did not pass gold initial testing on my fucking computer. So. <laughs> Never playing it. <laughs> it didn't finish gold. It you? didn't. It didn't get gold on uh, PS4. They resubmitted it though. Yes. Yeah. Which was the news that I was bringing up. Oh, okay. So if you let it finish, that's <laughs> it's the real news. Is that yes, <laughs> Minecraft didn't pass uh, gold for PS4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it gold or certification? Certification. They, yeah. I just, sir. I just called it gold because I didn't. I don't do the news. So basically, meaning it can't be ready to be put yeah. in the store. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's been resubmitted. I'm sure it'll be fine. Again, it's. It. But you getting it? Yeah, uh, moving it's on. It's gonna be five bucks for me because I have a PS3 one. I'll probably pick it up. Right. Up? Sorry, Brendan. <laughs> we have yeah, another. We still play the PC one. We can still play What's yeah. PC one. Play Brendan, I, one. I'm fronting the server stuff. We'll so be playing the. <laughs> we'll be playing the PC one, and then you'll just see mine and Sean's characters like standing in a corner doing nothing. And yeah, like, yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're mining. We're mining. Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you move like. Hey, Sean, come over here. <laughs> Oh man, I just built like... We'll have the Skype chat, and then we'll have like... <laughs> the headset on top of the headset. Yeah. Our own separate Have one. you seen my Eiffel Tower? I haven't seen you do anything, actually. So what oh, the... fuck, wrong chat. <laughs> wrong chat, sorry. Jeff has left the game. <laughs> Alright, so uh, here's some big news. And uh, the word was that Twitch was going to be bought by Google. Shit hit the fan. It was and huge. In a span of like two days, mm-hmm. it was like... No, Google. Will not it wasn't buy. two days. This has been going on for like a couple months. Where there's so, like yeah. Google Talks plans of, to acquire. Oh Dash. no, no. The, we talked the, about it on this. But podcast. I, as recently as a couple of days ago, it was still being reported that Google yes, was still yes. in a. Yes, and then in a, so that's what I mean. It has been a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Google did not buy it. Twitch was purchased by Amazon for pretty much basically one billion dollars. Yeah, in cash. Like here, <laughs> just. Once again, let me write this huge check. 
So uh, that's pretty uh, pretty incredible. It's also good for the like the streaming gaming community because it has it's gotten like, immensely <laughs> popular. Yeah. And Twitch, yeah. I mean, as much as I love Twitch, they've really struggled their chats down like half the time. So hopefully, it having that, that good like, Amazon backend, that with site servers, is yeah, it is yeah. <laughs> unreliable. It does not the best run the, times. the best yeah. at all. But I think it's because they've gotten so big as of late. That they oh, last couple years. Oh, I started years. I, got, I was there when they switched. Then they took the gaming community from Justin TV, mm-hmm. and they went to Twitch. So I did that transition. I was a, I was watching it back then. Mm-hmm. So and it's well, I, I'm sure you, pretty much everyone received an email from Twitch, the CEO, explaining it and saying that it's been three years. I yeah. mean, like. That is a cr- like crazy growth. Well, and the, something like this. Um, especially with the PS4 coming out and how easy it's made. Because people stream from their computers before, but like I watch, you know, when I'm bored or I have nothing better to do, I go on PlayStation Live sometimes and just watch people's dumbass shows. Yep. Yeah. Like I watch two guys making bongs in their basement <laughs> in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like answering questions they're welding glass in front of them like it's just the weirdest shit on so there so what I'm doing with this glass here <laughs> I'm making sure that it doesn't crack when I d- drill the hole in it's hard stuff <laughs> but yeah like and lots of these people they set up a Twitch account on their PS4 and I, like I've seen some of them they don't understand it first and then they realize that it's this website they go on to and view their stream and yeah. it's bringing in I think a lot of like a lot of mainstream uh, people that wouldn't have otherwise done it so it's probably part of its growth as well and yeah xbox one has twitch built in now as well so yeah. and just it's a really it's a really popular thing like you it's know, fun when pt came out like it was a big thing to be like streaming and watching people and everyone's play, trying to like, figure it out together and you could watch jeff play it at youtube why is that so creepy <laughs> <laughs> I, I momentarily forgot the forgot the youtube <laughs> stuff so i was like okay shit <laughs> you can even watch it on our website Imagine that. Can That's we? True. Can you? Can yes, you? we can. No, there, no. We, you can if I post it. It's on our YouTube channel. It's not on our site. I, yeah, can, right. I can put it up. Okay. Maybe so. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, drones will deliver streams. Yeah. In two thousand sixteen. Two thousand sixty-one, probably. Probably. I don't know when they made that video about the drones. Anyways, carry on. <laughs> uh, almost done here for the news. Uh, we got uh, Metal Gear Solid Five Phantom Pain multiplayer revealed. Um, so not to be mistaken for Metal Gear Online, right? Right. Which was like a ble- I was happy because it was like <gasps> multiplayer, and then it's like it's not MGO, and I was like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's, it's it's interesting. You like you can go into someone else's base, steal their supplies. Oh, uh, so mm-hmm. very much like a kind of like this Dark Souls invasion. Yeah, base. yeah. And it's like, the, and if you if it's your base, you can upgrade it for added security. You can get more people like drones and stuff flying around. Yeah, yeah, cool. it's really cool. cool. And so an it was a nice little. It was obviously like a demo. It was a very mm-hmm. scripted type thing. Um, and I don't know if this is on here either, but um, on the topic of Metal Gear Solid Five, Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain are both coming to PC. That's right. Ground Zeroes yeah, is coming, really? that. Yeah. coming soon, I think, actually, within a few weeks, probably, to PC, and then uh, 5 will be available on there as af- after, but uh, play Metal Gear on a computer, just... Doesn't seem natural. <laughs> Unnatural. Back <laughs> my day. Just weird. Yeah. yeah. Cool. What, what you um, doing, John? John's fixing his phone. He's rubbing yep. it. Oh, I was going to say something else. Uh, I thought you were playing uh, that Vita uh, game. <laughs> have you, have you, do you know what Vita game I'm talking about? Well, Monster Monkeys? Oh no! Undressing the girls? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Undressing the girls. <laughs> what game is that? <laughs> just uh, get my phone here and uh, <laughs> go on the PlayStation. No, it's yeah, a Vita game, and there's like a picture of a girl, and like two. Oh, you have to like. Oh, I thought it was a like different. I thought it was a different game. It's so <laughs> fucked up. I thought it was a different game. So just like, would you take off the clothes, right? <laughs> no. My phone is way bad. Anyways, no. uh, so um, let's move on to some talking points. We've kind of talked a lot about stuff already. Yeah, um, yeah we, can, we can spend five minutes on a talking point. Maybe we can afford that. I didn't put one in, so I don't know where he's going. With you said this. you had a talking point. Yeah, you said that like twenty minutes ago. That's what. Yeah, well, you I said it was a talking Nintendo. point. Was. Oh, do you guys want to talk about that? I don't know. What is it? <laughs> I don't really care. Oh, it's just like okay. Well, what are we talking? We'll touch about? on it. So, Miyamoto's comments. Um, It just, it sounds a bit different from what Nintendo is, well, Nintendo obviously wants to achieve that experience, but they're having a lot of problems doing it. Yeah, that's just not their identity. So what I'm hoping is that this next batch of three games that Miyamoto's currently working on are, like, 
really good. So Star Fox, so I'm really hoping that's good because they've run that series into the ground. Mm-hmm. Ground. Seriously, there is a <laughs> the, the DS game is horrible to the point where they like butchered the story. So I really hope that he does something with that game that's awesome. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it, to me it just feels like Nintendo doesn't have that pull of like I want to play this game because it's awesome. Yeah. The games are fun, don't get me wrong, but it's like I won't pour 60 hours into it, that game because it doesn't pull me in like that. Mario Kart. Zelda Wii U could be that game, though. Well, see, That's true. Skyward Sword wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know all about you and Skyward Sword. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like... But it, even if it is, it's just how many hardcore gamers are going to be like... It's not yeah, I know what you mean. So Not it, that people are, don't like Zelda, but like... They're very reliant on their own Zelda. franchises. It's yes. like, where is their Demon Souls or Bloodborne or their Gears of War or their like just some Skyrim. new IP? Of Even like here. on the GameCube, they're like they had the Resident Evil remake, but it was still like a it was like another third. They party. They had like, those those gems like Eternal Darkness. That's like, true. Yeah, games, what I mean that that were totally engaging. And, but we yeah. haven't seen that since the Wii. What games on the Wii? Are, yeah. Like, what are you talking about? You meant GameCube. No, I know, but that's what I mean. Like, mm-hmm. we haven't I haven't seen, even seen a lot of that since that the immersive games. experience since like the Wii, if even. Yeah, I think the Wii got away with it being such a novelty, like yeah. you said. Before, mm-hmm. I can't really like, pinpoint. I can't think of a game. Wii game besides Skyward Sword that I want to play, even though. You <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, Wii, like, no, let's be fair. The Wii has a lot of good games. Oh yes, no, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, like, but like, not like, I have to go buy a Wii. Yeah, yeah. It's not like game. Do you game? Go buy a PS3 and play The Last of Us, or like if you play yeah. Gears of War. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, those kinds of games. Like the Wii didn't even get a proper Metroid game. I'm sorry. Uh, well, Metroid, they have. Uh, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, there it was is a corruption. proper game. It is probably some of the best controls of the Wii, hands down. But I will agree. The story and the voice acting... Well, not the story. Story is actually okay. Voice acting sucks. Okay. I still have to play through that one. Wasn't that the game that was no, helped but... with the people who made uh, yeah. Ninja Gaiden? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And the it's last... actually... Like, it handles so well. Oh, it's so good. The last Metroid Prime came out in there. No. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Metroid Prime 3? Yeah. 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 Corruption oh, okay. came out. And then they did but the, it wasn't... the combo. It wasn't quite as well received, was it? No, or did it just overlook because it was, it was the, the best one? Out of the people series. were just really? disappointed because yeah. it was Or was it two month? people in like as much? Two one like, of them that wasn't two was as weird. No, uh, I two think was... they were all good. Yeah, well, they're all they good. Them. I mean, but I mean, like there was one of them that wasn't two quite was at the, the level. introduction of the light and the darkness. Right? I'm pretty sure. Spoilers. You're thinking of other a lot of people yeah. liked the first two. It was like it stepped it up another notch. I think it was just a backtrack, and people were like, "Oh, okay." There was four Metroid Wii games. That right. Metroid, Metroid, like the Prime series, and then... Corruption. Prime and Prime 2 Corruption were GameCube, and I they think did, 3 was... They did make a combo that came out for Wii. Yeah. You have it. That was, oh, that came out for GameCube and Wii. Ah. Yeah, no, the... No, Corruption was really good. People didn't like the fact that it didn't have multiplayer, so... Yeah. Didn't, you know, once you beat it... I didn't know any it. of them had multiplayer. Um, I'm fucking selling them. No, people were looking... <laughs> two people were looking... Did two have multiplayer? I think two had multi. No, I think it was the three D or not the three DS, the original DS. Oh, that's right. So people yeah, were looking right. forward the bounty hunters game. Oh, yeah. okay. Forward to it yeah. in uh, on the Wii with mm-hmm. those controls, right? Yeah. That's why Prime came out on there. So, okay. well, uh, that was my talking point. I don't know if you guys want something to say about that. Um, so no, I, I don't understand what you're, he's trying. What he's trying to say. What you're trying to say about Miyamoto. Like he he doesn't want to make it's he doesn't want to make games. <laughs> He's saying he wants to make <coughs> more hardcore than casual games. Yeah, yeah. Just oh. like you know, uh, we keep talking about the, oh, we use the oh, last okay. of us as a reference. Mm-hmm. I don't know a lot of people who like unless they were serious about game who would probably play Last of Us. It's not an easy game to play. Oh, you know, for sure. You know what I mean? Like it's just that's the type of game it is. And then mm-hmm. like a lot of the popular Wii games, pretty much anyone can pick up and play. Like yeah. mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, it's not just mm-hmm. like that. Like I bought Not the Wii. Reserved. I bought the Wii for those staple games, so like the Zelda. Yeah. This is the Wii U, sorry. I bought them for Mario Kart. Mm-hmm. But they, for they still make all those games. Like I have friends who don't play games, so like, oh my god, Mario Kart, like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? So I mean they're So that's, it's not like it's not working. It's just not no, working. No, but like well. that I think like you say, that's what my motto is yeah. after is those, I'm, happy those games. He, I'm happy that he wants to do that. I mean, I grew up well on his games mm-hmm. so. What's the f- biggest thing through each generation? The support. Cool, 
you know, there's all these big games like Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. We don't know if they're going to put in another Assassin's Creed on the next Wii U mm-hmm. or on Wii U again. Well, yeah, then the thing... Well, they don't know, have plans, actually. People make a big deal out of exclusives, but the fact is, for the most part, the biggest games and the ones that most people buy systems for are not first party, they're third party. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like, you know, sure, a lot of people will buy a PS4 for Uncharted 4, but there's more people that are just, you know, at some point they'll just be like, fuck, I'm going to get a PS4, I'm going to get Madden, get Call of Duty. Play like, with the community. Call of Duty, like that'll... There's a lot of people out there who are, you know, all they play is Call of Duty. A lot of people don't know that Call of Duty is like on other consoles outside yeah. of Xbox. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's and kind of at some point when they finally put out a Call of Duty that isn't cross-gen, these people who only play Call of Duty are going to be like, oh, it's kind of buy it. Just keep sticking to this yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They, they're going to have to need third-party support somewhere. I think they should focus on rebuilding those relationships with those companies. Mm-hmm. But will Nintendo ever do that? Not until they change the guard. I think so it's so. got to start with you know picking a developer and saying, "All right, guys, make a really good exclusive game for mm-hmm. a console. Help fund it if they have to." Yeah. yeah, right. Like they keep saying they've got the money, mm-hmm. so work or with sa- save another company like Platinum with uh, Bayonetta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just you know find a find your naughty dog and make your own Last of Us or whatever. Like yeah, find something. your naughty dog. <laughs> we all must find our inner naughty dog. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I don't. Know, I guess uh, see what the future has in store for Nintendo. Cool. Yeah. So that wraps this up for the fifteenth episode of the J fourteen Gamecast. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can catch us at all million and. <laughs> I remember when I used to host this. I had to say it. <laughs> Twitch TV <laughs> slash J fourteen Gaming. Yep. J14Gaming.com, our YouTube channel, which is J14Gaming. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, at J14Gaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, iTunes. Yes. We have our, it's just... J14Gaming. Yeah. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> I think that's, yeah, is that all of them? Sure. Just, just okay. Google it. We have a Facebook page, do we? No, we no, don't. We don't wouldn't set need it. Facebook page. <laughs> For the amount of views that we get, no, no, no. we don't need a Facebook page. We need to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, let us yeah. know if we need a Facebook page. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Thanks what? for watching. Or, yeah. I was going to say like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow pander, us on Twitch. Pander to the maybe eight viewers that view this. Sure. Yeah. We've yeah. got, uh, we're hoping to have a uh, Dark Souls stream. This yes. Weekend. And we're that working, is the goal. We're working on something. We're going to test it out. With us three at some point, because you're going on vacation. Yes, Jeff, the expert Meyer, will be gone. So that means I'm going to have episodes. to do the news again and the editing. Become and... an expert in the American Civil War. Oh, is that Dutch history? Dutch history. I'm just, I'm going to Boston, and they're like Boston, Boston, the Boston. Boston. Big battles were fought there. We're going to have some stuff. Working on some stuff. Yep. Talking about it earlier today. Uh, we'll let you know. We'll do a podcast next week. Yes. Somewhere. Hopefully. Probably in a oh, ditch. I didn't know we were going to do a podcast next week. Well, we... Three men so I was not here, man. Unless <laughs> unless we're busy, we'll do something else. We'll do like a online stream, talk Coach about stuff. Call Coach call-up yeah, type yeah. thing. Um, oh, I didn't talk about this. I got a Retro N5. Oh, shit. Awesome as balls. Um, more to awesome come on that. Balls. Awesome as That's... balls. I was going to buy one too, but I'm broke. Yeah. Broke. Yeah, I spent an extra hundred bucks. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah. So that's that's it. That's it. You go ahead. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll figure out our episodes here. Hopefully, have one next week, and uh, 